you see it, you know it. It's the Dwight Howard tank. We were able to move all of our games and, and fake plants from that area and push it back for right now. Its stand is still in our way, but the tank is out of our way so that we can carry this back here. Clint Eastwood came over to help. Thank you, brother. Josh is back here and look what we're doing. <laughs> Yeah, just leave them in there. All right, come on out there. Now, what we're going to do, thank you, now you can come back in. What you, we're going to do is we're going to take this empty barrel right here, and we're taking all of these bio balls out of here. Because we're going to use this instead of the two garbage cans. Like I explained in the last video, this will hold a whole lot more media. We can probably put a third garbage can full of bio balls in there. But we're going to use the used bio media we've had running for 10 years instead of this. So... What we're going to do now is start emptying out these bios, bio balls, and put it into this barrel. And uh, there's the other Bellagio uh, wet dry tank, but we're only going to use this one. Okay, you can see we filled up one entire 55 gallon drum full of bio media. We still got a little bit left on this side and a lot left on that side. We're going to have to find something else to put the rest of this in, but that was about a half hour right there. We're going to move this now. Guys, if you want to carry this and just take this on out. Sounds good. Each grab a side, there you go. It's not really that heavy because of the bio balls, but it's just awkward to carry. No, that goes, yeah, over this way to go outside. There you go. Okay, we pulled it away from the wall. Clint's going to grab that side. We'll see if we can go over the cords. Go ahead and uh, just lift up on your side as we go to the cords. Okay, rolled right over them. Okay, now watch your corner so we don't scratch up the acrylic and hit anything. Let's go. Turn this. I know, but we can still get this out there. Here's a tub for the rest of the bio balls. All right, look at Joshy go. Oh, and just so you know, in case you haven't noticed, on the uh, comments, people are noticing you gaining muscle and definition now. So now they're off the kick of you doing drugs and know that you're working out, saying you're looking a lot better. If you look back six, eight months last year, you can see Joshy had uh, flimsy arms and uh, a, pot, a beer belly. And he, in the last, how long have you been working out with Richie? Since July. So four months. You've lost all that weight and started gaining definition and muscle. Now they're they're doing a bulking up diet, where it's um, was it two thirds meat or three quarters meat, one quarter vegetables. Yeah, no, we're off the bulking. We're back to uh, fat burning and calisthenics. So it's you six, can't be because we just made the food up last night and it was six cups of meat a day. Right. And with each cup of meat, there's a quarter cup of vegetables. That's it. Okay, so one cup of meat, a quarter cup of of raw veggies. Six times a day. Six times a day. And uh, I call that bulking up because you're eating, you know, 80% protein. Uh, when we were bulking up, you were doing uh, a little bit more meat, lots and lots of veggies with the rice and the protein shakes. Oh, that's right. Smoothies. You're right. They were, they were eating rice, protein shakes, and fruit smoothies along with uh, uh, whey protein and creatine. And right now we're using enough protein to feed our muscles, keep the muscles there. We're doing the fat burners and pumping up the cardio, so you can burn off all the extra body fat. We did a body fat per, uh, test on me the other day. And you actually beat I was, Richie. I was down to 8.5% body fat. We're going on a two-month fat burning cycle, so I'm going to try and get that down to 6%. So if I, I go on this diet with you and eat the same amount... And only eat three times a day? Would that burn off some of my spare fat? It would. Um, plus, the more active you are, the better off you can be. Well, you got me on these fat burner pills that they get me zinging like 10 cups of coffee. <laughs> you saw it this morning. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? Are you taking one or two a day? One a day, because that's all I need. Yeah, we're taking two. And I tell you what, I took one. one 
and I zinged all day the other day, and I did not sleep. I was up all night long. So uh, one's enough for me until I get used to it, I guess. All right, grab them out of there. Okay, it's empty now. Hey, give them, there you go. Put them in that thing. Oh, here it is. Look at them big banana hugging feet. <sighs> I couldn't let go of it. <laughs> big eight it's feet. Grab there. that. All right. Let's put this up here. Now, we've opened up some more room. There's the other Bellagio tank and then, or Bellagio wet dry. And then here's one of the protein skimmers. That thing's four foot tall, huge. We got the pumps to it and everything, and they're like brand new. We got two of them, and then two of them huge chillers, which we never need. Oh, here's the other one. This is the one they used. That one's four foot tall, too. All right, so now we're going to start moving this. We can roll right over to it. If, if we got one of them small straps, we can hold the wheels on it. I can lift this if you can lift it. Yeah, That's where are we going? Up on Fish top of that stand right now first. Do you want to cut this piece off so it don't get broke? Yeah, let's do that first. Pull this back towards me. Watch your step on that pipe. Oh, yeah, it's a roller. Ouch. Hang on, pull up the stand. Slide past. And then slide, slide, slide. Okay. That wasn't too bad. All the way forward. See, now, there's a, a roller out there, big one. Yep. I just carry it through. Okay, never mind. All right. Get behind us. There's actually one in front and open that door. I can do that. Oh, there's a coffee table there. I kicked it. That's how I know. All right, get it to the side. Keep going. Let, let me run around. If you kept going, I could move over too. Watch the hose. You got to go right, and I would grab under, yeah. Just fits. You need a hand? Nope. Stuck. Go up top and I'm out of the tent. Okay. I don't walk no farther. Don't go back. Come towards me. Okay. My hand's on the side over here. All right, go ahead. It's still up. What do you got to do? What's going on here? There we go. Oh, what's this thing? There we it go. Don't matter. You're good. You got to tell me what you're doing on your side. Don't scratch up the black thing. Can you stop? I'm going to have to come down and off. You ready? Yeah. Let me move this ladder. Okay. 
Are you going to set it down in the middle of this room here, or do you want to set it on the pool? Um, we need to get them cans out. Can you grab a... Uh... No, just go in. There's a bunch of stuff in the way. I'm wrapped up in this plate in my way. Stop. Go on down. Nope, we got it. We use the video. That was a little bit of a bear. Send that pipe out of there. That overflow. shut that water off. We want to get more milk crates in there to set this on, move the garbage cans out of the way, and then put this onto those milk crates. Okay, so now we've got the wet dry filter in, and that's four foot by three foot by three foot tall. These are two of the water spreading bars. This is the two lids, and this will look a lot more professional than my two garbage cans, although my garbage cans have been running for 10 years on keeping this place going on my fish tanks forever. We're not moving them until we set this on no crates. Go ahead and stop that video. That way you can just set your end down in the water. Can you see it? I don't know. Right there. No. Push down on your corner. I got it. There you go. Let me get the bucket over here. Work the right side. Okay, now that allows no water in it. We're good. Um, can you move that bucket to where this will hold up itself? I'll look this side. There we go. Alright, now, the problem is these things here. These were my homemade spreaders. I don't want to lift these over here. We need two more buckets or something to set them on because I don't want to set this down in the water. I want to use these to pour into here. Do you think that we can pour these into here now and, and be able to lift this onto the milk crates? Or do you want to get two more buckets to put these on over here? Okay, we got the new sump in here. I moved both of these off of the four milk crates over there. I left two because we're only going to use one milk crate high now. So I had to put two of them over here to hold these two. And then we can move this into place over here on one milk crate each. Josh went out to get the ceramic rings to put on bottom. And we're going to move this over pretty soon. We're getting there. We're getting done. This water usually runs a lot faster. We shut off the pumps, pumping up. So it's slowing down as we go, but that's usually coming out so fast. I had to make a cap with four big holes on this side to slow down this water so it would come out that side more because it was running past that and coming all out here. Now it's even between the two. There they come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Dump. Do you want to set this on the milk crate first? No. Nope. Uh, go ahead and dump your your eight in there, eight inches or so on each side. Okay. Next one. Now these are all uncycled uh, bio balls. They're going to go on the bottom. We're going to add our cycle bio balls to the top. So, hand that over to Clint. All right, I'm going to move this one milk crate, and then we can move this whole thing on top of these two. The problem is they don't want to stay there while we move this. 
Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to have to try and hold this. Right, let's go. Just down and the weight on it. If you can hold one, I can hold the other one. We can just roll it down on it. Yeah. Yep. Wait. Follow one. See that? Okay. Right. Forge it. Okay, now. Two more breaks. And I had to move my bucket. Okay, you guys remember the original two garbage cans were full of bio balls and now they're empty. These were what was in the, the fish tank. See the holes at the bottom right there? Then we put both of them in and then remember we filled this up with unseated bio balls? We put them on bottom, filled them up with these two here and then poured all the ones in here. So we gained that whole tub and that 55 gallon drum of bio media on top of these two and that's what it looks like now a whole lot i just put them on there so the water don't splash coming out from there and coming out so it just hits on them or bags that used to be 100 micron i cut the bottoms out it just helps splash you know keep the water going without splashing so you can see the jet flow coming out of the bottom of that thing all the way across here the water won't go no lower than this that's why we put unseated bio balls in first filled it up with my two trash cans and then filled it up with more bio balls on top. So that is now our new biological filtration, which is basically like four of these cans as opposed to two of bio media. Because these were full and now that's even bigger and this is a little smaller. So I figure that container and this container go for another two containers of this size. Um, Josh, you can take these two outside and we'll use them for garbage cans until they disintegrate. And uh, We've got our, our sump. People are asking, how come I don't take this pool down and use, use this area for fish tanks? Problem is, I need a sump. When you're running, I've got 80, 90,000 gallons of water. I need a large sump. It, it goes up and it goes down sometimes, you know, depending on uh, water level and what we're doing, what we got shut off and turned on. So this is our filtration. Goes through this thing here of the 900 mil micron socks 
you see that? Then it goes through this 800 gallon settling chamber, it's eight foot interior space long, and it settles debris. Then the pothos eats nitrates out, and then the water overflows, comes over here, goes to this wet dry filter, and then all these bio balls eats the ammonia and it eats the nitrites, turns it into nitrate, and then releases it into the water. Our pass through water system keeps the water about 20 parts per million nitrates. So this is our sump, and we need a big enough sump to handle it. Pool works great, but we use it for extra holding capacity when we need it. Like when we started gathering the stingrays, we didn't have a tank open for them, so we put them in here. Problem is, this is the water that gets pumped up to all of our other tanks. The 1,000 gallon, the 4,400 gallon. Oh, look at how cloudy that got. Just from putting in uh, that biological media and then moving it around, stirring it up. The 3,000, this this tank, this tank here, the 2,200, the 750, the Bellagio's on that side all get fed. These three tanks right here all get fed from that sump. So do those two. So every tank in this room is fed from this sump other than the quarantine tanks, which you know is this 550 here and then these four tanks here and then this three tiers and then also the 80 gallon now these are not on our system but look at him he is just so beautiful um we do water changes this one here evaporates so weekly we have to add probably this much water right now this is this has been two days and it's down to here so far so we're going to have to we just keep re retopping that one off so right now the, that's these guys is home for now until we have to separate them they're hanging tough together and they're they're hanging out together and no one's biting nobody so i've been watching every day for the female to get picked on we had to move the sense film we put that in with the baby stingray and uh, we're feeding that pellets and bloodworms so since film will grow really quick um, but yeah that's what we've done and uh, we've got it done all we got now is cleanup we have put this ladder away this overflow these tubs here Josh already started on these we've got these things here to put up we've got all of this left over we got buckets and, and milk crates and grab bars grabbers all to put away yet so look at josh in his plaid pants what's up buddy we pretty much quadrupled our bio on yes, our system yes we did which we didn't think was even possible but the amount of bio you're able to fit in this chamber is just ridiculous so uh yeah you guys seen that you've seen the pool you've seen us moving the dwight howard tank it's been incredible but what you guys are seeing now in the last few videos has probably taken us a day or two. We've just been cranking out the content and you guys have been getting a video every day because my dad's had the extra content, so why not give it to the viewers? So I hope you guys have been enjoying that, but don't forget, we've got some more amazing content coming your way. Now my dad wants to say something to you as well. Stay, Stay fishing, fishing, my friends. friends.